Hey, my means. It's supposed to be dark. I accidentally started the video. What up? Okay. That's a bit. I got my book now. I'm gonna read. He didn't see that. Woo! Can you see it? If you can see it, tell me what it is. And I know he cannot see it. He can't even really see me. Okay, on a top of two. Chapter two. Oops. Chapter two. No more Mr. Nice Guy. We had to walk a million hundred miles. Okay, I'm stop. We had to walk a million hundred miles to the all-purpose room for the surprise assembly. I don't know why they call it the all-purpose room. Because you can't use it for a bungee jumping. Our principal, Mr. Clutch. Was up on stage with her vice principal, Mrs. Jaffe, and her school counselor, Dr. Brad. They're usually smiling and giving us high fives when we walk in for an assembly, but not this time. All three of them had on mean faces. What's up with them? I whispered as we sat down. It looks like they got on the wrong side of the got up on the wrong side of the bed, whispered Andrea. What difference does it make which side of the bed you get up on? I asked. Whew, I'm tired. It's just an expression, I will, said Andre, won't her eyes. She called me by, 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 by my real name because she knows I don't like it. Maybe somebody died, whispered Ryan. Mr. Klutz, Mrs. Jaffe, and Dr. Brad were all wearing t-shirts that said Boggs on them. What do you think Bog stands for? Whispered Neil Newton. Big ostriches go slow, guessed Ryan. Boring old geezer society, guessed Michael. Body odor gets stinky, guessed, a, guessed Alexa. Be on guard. I didn't get the chance to finish my, to finish my sentence because... Mr. Clutz held up his hand and made the shut up peace sign. Mrs. Jaffe tapped on the microphone. Everybody stopped talking. It was so quiet in all purpose when we could hear a pin drop. That is, if anybody dropped pins to school and started dropping them, but why would anybody do a dumb thing like that? We are disappointed in you children, said Mrs. Jaffe. Once again, Dirk School got the award for having the best behavior for the month. Dirk School is on the other side of town. That's where all the genius kids go. We call it Dirk School. Mrs. Jaffe sat down and Dr. Brad stepped up to the microphone. We have been having a lot of behavior problems lately, he said. Students have been yelling and running through the hallways. Kids are talking back to the teachers. There have been food fights and riots. This is not the way children are supposed to behave in school. So we're starting a program to improve behavior and teach respect here at elementary school. Dr. Brad sat down and Mr. Clutch stepped up to the microphone. He has no hair at all. I mean none. Mr. Clutch's head is really shiny. They could use it to signal ships that are lost at sea. Bog stands for behave or get suspended. Yeah. Um, that's what it says, said Mr. Klutz. I've tried to be kind to you and show them, but it didn't work. So from now on, it's no more Mr. Nas, Mr. Klutz. Mr. Nascat. Excuse me. That's lying burp. Not really. I just stopped. Okay, students who misbehave will be suspended. Wow, I remember when Mr. Clutz was a good guy. Once I got sent to his office for bad behavior and he gave me a candy bar. That was cool. 
Now is all mean. I expect. I mean, I expect. I can't read everything, so don't judge me on this. I expect exemplary behavior at elementary school. He continued. And that is all I have to say. I'll be checking in on your classrooms regularly to see how you're making out. Ew, disgusting! I shouted. Mr. Klutz said making out. Quiet! Warned Mr. Klutz. Enough of that foolishness! But my enemies have to go because my sister's gonna scream at me.